it's something else to do when you get on in a few years after you've raced all your life and stuff and it's like a gentleman's sport but it becomes very serious and it's just the same as real racing. Sporting trials is all about getting as far as you can up a, up a muddy hill uh, and that is a unique skill and it's very counterintuitive. We've had some racing drivers including Nigel Mansell and various other people do this sport and found it very difficult because instead of putting your foot down you've actually got to take, be taking your foot off just where you think you should be putting it on so it's quite a counterintuitive thing to do. I would say the best passenger that you can have is one that you don't know is in the car. So they move around the car seamlessly, they, their weight's in the right place at the right time, you can talk to them and discuss what you're doing but they don't try and talk you into things that you don't want to do. But the key is that they're not fumbling around, crashing into you, knocking you about. So if you don't know they're there, that's normally a good sign that they're a good passenger.